to the inning will be his 100th of the ball game. Another sinker here, but this one's over for strike one. And the way he's kept the ball around the plate so far, he deserves a few calls at this point in the game. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. And for all the pitches he's thrown, only one walk so far. That's a little bit surprising. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. And here's a good sinker now, but it misses three and two. And a good job here of making him throw a lot of pitches. He probably doesn't have a whole lot left in the tank, so the more you make him work, the better your chances of getting a mistake. B.J. Upton will stride forward now. He's bounced out a couple of times already here in the ball game. First pitch on its way to Upton. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at bat. It's ball one. And he looks at a slider in there, one and one. And if he's getting tired, it's not showing in his slider. That pitch is still as tight as it was in the second inning. Here's a cold strike on the curveball, one and two. And that has been the comfort zone so far in this outing. He's just lived on that outside corner, and it's paid big dividends for him. Hard sinker misses two and two. From the belt, the pitch. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. On its tailor made to short, six, four, three, and they turn the double play. <laughs> Gerald Laird come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. First pitch here is a sinker that runs a bit too wide. It's ball one. Now a swing and a little tapper to the left of the mound. Throw in time and the side is retired. Gavin Floyd is out from the bullpen now as he'll make his first appearance here on the season. Gene Segura is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. Oh, can't spot the cutter any better than that. Nothing in two now. Yeah, he came with a little bit of a different look that time. This pitch is also in their knee high, and now they've got him behind in the count, 0-2. And, and that's off his leg on the mound. And time now to see quite where that got him. And it appeared from up here at least, and his actions on the field confirm it. It looked like it got him on his drive leg, which could be problematic, of course, for him. But from the way he's trying to walk it off, I think he's going to try to continue. Big hole on the right side. Here's the first pitch. Scooter Jeanette stands in as he looks at ball one here. Not close. It's 2-0. Whoa, that definitely took off on him right there. He's lucky that thing didn't go all the way to the backstop. This is bounced sharply and right through the opening on the right side. It's a base hit. Throw comes back in quickly, so they're at first and second now with nobody out. Ramiro Pena is off the bench now as he'll take over at second following the injury. So it's first and second now. Nobody out. And that'll bring forth the powerful third baseman, Aramis Ramirez. Oh, and trouble lurking now. He's got it to 2-0. Oh. 
Nail-biting time now in that third base dugout. Well, things are starting to spiral here, and you've got to make sure this doesn't spin completely out of control. Back to first, and Ramirez is also retired. It's a double play. Ryan Braun will stand in. He popped out in his last time. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. And boy, big oh, problems yeah. here to start this at bat. It's 0 and 2 now. And this would be a great escape if he could strand that runner. At and we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Brewers strand one, but they lead it 3 0. Justin Upton will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. Fielder. Justin Upton. And now K-Rod Francisco Rodriguez is up throwing in the bullpen. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Now here's a ball hit sharply toward the right side. In there, the base hit. Chris Johnson will stand in for the fourth time now, still looking for his first hit of the ball game. And he's not the only one either. This has been a great pitching performance so far, and they've had these guys chasing their tails all game long. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. The second for one. On the first, and the rally ends just as quickly as it began. Two away now here in the eighth. Freddie Freeman will stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Braves go down without a whimper here. Jonathan Lucroy will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. And he'll look at a first pitch curveball that's in the dirt. It's ball one. Ball hit high to the right side, but this will get into the seats foul. Fastball swung on and hit on the ground at third. On to first by Johnson, and there's one gone. Carlos Gomez will try again after hitting that two-run homer his last time around. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. Now a good pitch on the inside part of the plate ties him up, and it's one and one. <laughs> that got in his kitchen big time right there. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. The pitch. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. A couple of good pitching performances by both clubs here. Three nothing our score as you get a look there at the inning by inning recap through the first seven and change. Chris Davis is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0 and 1. Oh, and he goes the other way with a fastball. He drives it out to deep right center field. Upton has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. Gone in order of the Brewers, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Evan Gaddis will be tasked now with leading things off in their half of the ninth as they'll try to do something to prevent being shut out. And whatever they've done for the first eight innings hasn't yielded a whole lot so far. So, quite frankly, I'm not expecting too much. Jason Hayward will get another crack, one for three thus far. Jason Hayward. Play. 
and that's the great thing about having a good singer. And it seems like a lot of times, even when guys do get a hit off of you, the next guy's going to come up and ground into a double play anyway. We've seen it before, and that's exactly what happens here. Andrelton Simmons will stand in now as their last shot here with two away in the ninth. Yeah, just one final hurdle here before he finishes off the shutout. And this is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Now the one and one pitch. And there's a swing and a miss for strike two. And the Braves now are down to their final strike. Yeah, and he's really getting over the top of that curveball. And he holds up on this one, but it's a cold strike three. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, we've talked about it all throughout this game. He was completely in charge, essentially, from pitch one. Now he finishes off a masterful performance here, getting the complete game set up. Time for one final check of the line score as you see the key players there in this shutout victory. And guys, you can't win if you can't score, so there's probably not a whole lot of debate about who'll take home top player of the game honors in this one. Yeah, definitely no, no debate as far as I'm concerned. He was really in complete control the whole way through. Only really got into trouble a few times, and he winds up with a complete game shutout. So that just about does it. For EK, Psycho, and the crew, I'm Matt Vasturgeon. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, get those smartphones and tablets out and head over to theshownation.com. The Brewers win it 3 to nothing. So long from Milwaukee.